how did I only try nine palettes in the month of September? That seems like I did the math wrong, but I swear I checked my list, I looked through my YouTube channel, and I only tried nine palettes. So we're gonna rank them in this video if you guys are interested. Just keep watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I love makeup, especially eyeshadow palettes, especially indie eyeshadow palettes. So you're gonna see a lot of those on my channel. If that sounds good to you, highly recommend subscribing, turning on the bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, so we have nine palettes. This is gonna go by quick. In ninth place, we have the ColourPop Haunted Mansion palette. Now, this was a restock, I believe, but they so kindly sent me the collection. I believe this restocked on the ColourPop website and then it launched at Target store. So I think that's why I got it in PR. Either which way, this is actually a really cute palette. The worst part with only nine palettes is all of these palettes are really great and it was like pulling teeth. It was really hard to decide how to rank these. Even though this is in the ninth spot, it's still a good palette. It still made the top 10. So there's that. It's a fun muted color story. I was immediately attracted to this blue. I did post a reel with this. So if you guys are interested, highly recommend checking it out. In eighth place is the Calavera palette from Gourmand Girls. This is so beautiful. It is a tribute to the owner's grandparents and I thought that was lovely. This is the biggest palette I've ever seen them do. And I will throw up videos or reels I have with the looks I created with these palettes. I did that in last month's ranking and you guys really like that. So I'll try my best to find any clips I have and post them for you but this is a beautiful rainbow palette the formula is stunning it's got a variety of shades I kind of ranked it a little bit lower because it's a big rainbow palette so I feel like there's no like curation of a color story there is but there isn't it's weird I know I'm trying to make sense of how to rank these but it's in the eighth spot and I think this is a lovely palette okay this was really hard because I have a lot of like jewel tone deep grungy palettes this month because we're gearing up for October so September had a lot of grungy tones I feel like these two palettes could be seven or six in no particular order but I decided to go ahead and put the Ensley Rain Underland palette in number seven Again, beautiful palette, stunning formula. I will say the color story is definitely very grungy. So like I've said in numerous videos, this is not a palette for the faint of heart. And you really have to like these tones to want this palette. I feel like essentially the other Ensley Rain palettes that have more shades have these shades in it already. It's like they pull the darkest shades from those palettes and put it into the Underland palette. I love that they did a smaller size palette because it is more curated and I hope to see more palettes this size from the brand in the future. But you guys know Inslee Rain is one of my favorites. So I am super duper happy I got to try this out. Next in sixth place is my friend Amanda's palette with Fantasy Cosmetica. This is such a pretty palette. See, I feel like this is the more, I hate to say wearable, but definitely less intimidating sister to the Underland palette. It still has those grungy jewel tones, but it has a few lighter shades compared to the Underland. So if you're kind of terrified of the shades in the Underland palette, maybe this one is a little bit more neutrally and easy to incorporate into your everyday makeup routine. Okay, in fifth place, I gotta give it to the Bella Beauté Bar Vamp Palette. This one has a very curated color story. So as you can see, it's reds and purples and it's very grungy and gorgeous. And we've got some grays here as well. I think this palette is so beautiful. I just love the Bella Beauté Bar formula so much and I have such a great time using it, so I wanted to rank this in fifth place. Okay, in fourth place is the Odin's Eye Eternal Twilight Palette. This palette has the most beautiful packaging. It's supposed to be like light versus dark. I believe this is the biggest palette Odin's Eye has ever done. It has so many beautiful shades, and I had so much fun with the shimmers in this palette. We've got these really cool like marbly shades. I also just love this green tone in here and I feel like there's endless looks in this palette so I could create with this all day long. Okay, in third place, I'm a little biased y'all but I had to give it to the Little Mermaid palette 
from Sigma Beauty. They did such a good job with this. This palette has Sigma's first multi-chrome. I feel like such a proud mom saying that. I know that they had this launch plan, but it did leak early, so they worked and got this out early, which I'm super duper excited and appreciative of because it was so fun to try this palette. It's been so fun to hear what you guys think of this palette. I really do like the slim size. I'm sure a lot of you missed the brush being included. But since this palette has so many duochrome shades, they did have to kick the brush out just to keep this in the more affordable realm. But it's a cute palette. I really see the Little Mermaid in here. I think they do the Disney collaborations even better every single time. And yeah, I really like this. I think this is a fun palette. The formula is great, the colors are beautiful, and the packaging is so cute as well. In second place is another Bella Beauté Bar palette. This could have been first. I feel like maybe there should have been a tie, but we'll talk about number one in a second. This palette is so pretty. Just look at it. This is like my perfect grungy palette because it's not too, too dark. There are some lighter shades. These two blues, oh my gosh, they literally stole the show. I think they might be two of my favorite blues ever in a palette. Again, I really love Bella Beauté Bar's formula. Their metallics are so beautiful. They just like glide on the lids. They're so easy to use and I love supporting women-owned indie brands. So I'm super duper happy to have this and talk to you guys about it. I would again just spend all day staring at this if I could. <laughs> okay in first place I don't think you guys are gonna be surprised at all but I had to give it to the undergrowth palette from Cosmic Brushes or Cosmic Beauty. You guys I feel the nostalgia and love calling them Cosmic Brushes but they're Cosmic Beauty now I think. Anyways regardless this palette is so pretty and I feel like they've been doing monochromatic palettes the last few times they've had a launch and I mean they made me my green palette of my dreams. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love me some green. I love these grungy tones. Perfect for fall and winter and the shimmers are nice. The mattes are lovely. The price point is great. They literally can do no wrong in my eyes. So I love this one from Cosmic Brushes. It's my number one palette of September. Okay friends, like I said, we only had nine palettes so that was quick and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite palette of the month of September. I love hearing what you guys have in your collection and what you're currently enjoying. So Looking forward to your comments. My monthly giveaway is linked in the description box and I hope you guys enter because I love giving away lots and lots of makeup to my makeup friends. I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye!